Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you around my beautiful two bed, two bathroom apartment in Brisbane. So it's a house tour, but it's also going to be showing the resident facilities and my actual apartment. And I'm gonna be talking about cost and size and that sort of thing as well. I have lived in some absolute trap houses. I've lived in college residences. I've lived in a share house with seven people at one point. I think that those experiences made me appreciate living in a beautiful space even more. It took Leo and I about two years to actually get this apartment, which I consider my dream apartment. And I'm so incredibly grateful and we are so incredibly fortunate. And I'm not gonna say we're lucky because I didn't get to this point because I'm lucky, I worked very hard, and I think that having a beautiful space is the most amazing reward to reward yourself for your hard work. So we moved in in September of 2021. Construction was completed around August of 2021. So it's quite new and it's by a building company that I've previously lived in their buildings before and I quite like them. They're nice and luxurious. They have all of the extra trimmings uh, that sort of validate hopefully the premium price that you do pay so this is definitely a higher than normal price point for a two bed two bath but at the same time it's not a penthouse we don't have our own pool so it's sort of that mid to top tier i would say so the apartment was bought off plan about a year ago but it was valued about two months ago at just over one million australian dollars which blows my mind like this inflation is just nuts just because it's been valued at something doesn't mean it's worth it let's say that for example the penthouse one of the penthouses in this building is currently for sale it's a three bedroom apartment penthouse sure it's very nice for 4.6 million dollars australian and it's been for sale since before building commenced and no one has bought it so that's a good indication that maybe it's a little bit overpriced so let me know if you guys think that it is too high or too low or if it's reasonable if you would live here or not so i'm going to show you around the resident facilities first and then around my actual apartment my apartment is pretty small but for a brisbane apartment a two-bedroom apartment it's super standard it's about 100 square meters and like i said two bed two bath two car it is valued for just over 1 million and i believe depending on which level you're on the rent is between 650 and 1000 dollars a week australian so to start off, I'm going to show you guys the foyer. And basically, I don't tend to walk into the foyer. I tend to come through the garages, but the foyer is beautiful. And during Christmas time, there's like the biggest Christmas tree. It touches all the way to the roof. And it's just like a really beautiful um, space. I love the big windows. And there's usually always fruit as well. Next, we have this cute little garden. There's sometimes yoga put on by the um, building for residents to attend it's pretty much all inclusive here um, which is really sweet and it's just like really nice around summertime because it's nice and cool next up we have the wellness center basically it's a gym but it's also what they call a day spa so there's an in-house masseuse in here you can get facialists in here estheticians if you want and book out this room privately if you like we then walk through to the gym. It's a pretty nice gym, I think, for an apartment complex. There is a ton of cardio machines, and I love that there's a lot of like functional fitness machines as well. So there's like a ski erg, an assault runner, uh, salt bikes, and just like a whole lot of little gadgets in there as well as um, weights. I also love that there is like a dedicated yoga space slash yoga Pilates studio, and there is like free included yoga and Pilates classes put on for the residents as well which are amazing so once you leave the gym you walk through the changing room area and there are two infrared light dry saunas and I'm someone who usually pays for LED light therapy when I go and get a facial and having this in my apartment is like honestly saving me a lot of money it's really 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 good for your skin LED light therapy and I love saunas and so it's just the best thing actually for me personally to live somewhere which has a sauna i know a lot of people might not use it but for me love having a sauna i use it all the time there is also a steam room or a wet sauna which is great and there's also three magnesium pools like drop pools so instead of like a hot tub spa type thing there's, there's no chlorine in the water it's all magnesium so it's special for recovery and two of the pools are hot and one of the pools is an ice bath so it's an ice magnesium bath i think it's like five 
or 10 degrees Celsius. It's super cold, uh, but really fancy and good for athletes doing recovery things and whatever. We then head up to the rooftop and I'm obsessed with this rooftop. It is amazing for entertaining. So obviously big, nice pool, 360 views of the river in Brisbane city, lots of day beds and places to tan. There's also around the other side, some barbecue spots and little fire pits and lots of little sort of circular, I don't know what else to call them other than nooks, <laughs> but there's like, like little circular pods um, for entertaining. And it's perfect when we have like new year's and firework events and stuff in Brisbane. We have a cinema, it's beautiful. There's a stunning grand piano in there. And then the TV screen comes down from the roof. Next up is the dining room. It's a really beautiful space as well. There's a full kitchen and a beautiful dining table. There's a plasma in there. And again, really beautiful views. There's also a little bar cart and you can arrange catering through the residence for some of the local fine dining areas. Places like Moomoo's, Walters, Black Hyde will all cater to the dining room upstairs which is pretty crazy it's kind of like uber eats but they actually come the chefs will come and cook and prepare your food up here if you're having a dinner party which is amazing there is also a common area this one you don't need to book it's open all the time for residents to just come and go a lot of people work up there i work up there it is probably my favorite room i would say in the entire of the building the views are insane the architecture of the ceiling i love this space there's free coffee and free tea and i think it's every one day a week i don't know i think it's wednesdays there's um free loon pastry as well which is just chef's kiss i've literally thought of everything there's also a fireplace as well and then this room comes out onto like a nice little terrace there's a little outdoor space so that wraps up everything facility wise so now let's get into my personal apartment so when you walk down the foyer the first thing on your left is bathroom two the guest bathroom which isn't used too often sorry about the noise in order to have the lights on i need to have the vent on so i actually love how this looks with that if you would have just showed me that on its own and said oh yeah we're gonna cover a bathroom wall with it i would have been like no thanks i do love that there's like a little nook and this is just like a little detachable shower head. This is the bath where I shoot most of my OnlyFans. <laughs> Another thing I really love is that all of the fittings are like this matte black, which I just love the aesthetic of like the brown and the black. I think it will date really quickly, but I do really like it. Also on the wall here when you first walk in is this little iPad kind of gadget. And it allows me to view all of the cameras and also like I can call security. Um, there is 24 hour security in this building. It's super, super, super secure. There's like four checkpoints that you have to pass in order to get to my room on my level, uh, in the door, in the elevator, they're all locked without like authorization. So that's really nice and secure. So after the bathroom, this first bedroom here, this is the room where I spend most of my time. This is my office. It's the second bedroom. This very skinny bookshelf is really not conducive to how many books I have. So I need to go back to Ikea and get another one. I just like the aesthetic of it. Like it's really nice and skinny. And I do have my books uh, organized in categories. So we have nonfiction medical, more nonfiction medical. We have nonfiction space and physics. And then we have like classics. And then we have more nonfiction medical and just some textbooks at the top. And then, so I'm gonna get a second one of that and pop it here. Because as you can see, I've probably already got enough books to fill up another bookshelf. And coming around to our right, this is the main living area. I love that it's all open. It's not just sort of like down in a straight line like a lot of the apartments that I've lived in previously. Again, it's just like lots of brown. And this is a beautiful marble bench and splash back, splash board, is that what it's called? Pantry here, oven, we've got a dishwasher. And a little microwave nook. And this is actually the laundry. Yes, my laundry is a little bit chaotic. That's our laundry basket at the moment because we don't have one. I have washing in there.
clearly need to go to the bottle and fill up some of these spaces. I do get a lot of questions about my couch and it's just the Grand Lid couch from Ikea. And it took me about a year to get these <laughs> mess cushions and blankets. A year of waiting. I absolutely adore this coffee table. I forgot where it's from. And I just have like these little books and these little limited edition Louis coasters, aren't they so cute? And this is actually a candle. I do have just another blanket there because I always get cold. I have this fake fiddle fig. And this is a new TV that we got actually because we upgraded our old one. And I found this um, TV stand that perfectly sort of matches all of the brown in the unit, which I love. These are just from Kmart. I think they were like $15. But yeah, I'm loving the brown theme. You can see my little ironing board peeping out there. But yeah, this is the view from the living area. It's beautiful. It's a lovely winter day here in Brisbane. You have a little tiny deck, so I'll take you outside. This is actually our old dining table, but we didn't really have room for it. And all of my dead plants really exposing myself here. That one is fake. Just got a view this way. And there is a building there, so we're just gonna like bypass it. Ooh. This is a view this way. And into the apartment. And I do have a little veggie trough and there's only basil growing in it, but the basil is doing well actually. So then coming down this hall, we are going into the master and I love that there's like a sheer curtain and then there's like a full blackout or you can like leave it open, but I just usually leave it closed. This is the master. And there is like this little built-in sort of study nook type thing, but I use it as a dresser. And I've got like this little light here that lights up, which I love. And I usually keep like my jewelry box there and there's some power outlets and a light, super high ceilings in the entire apartment. And I have like this little poof chair, whoops, some poof ointment on the ground. And another large wardrobe, which Leo uses for all of his clothes because we have way too many clothes. I love that little print up there. Same thing again with the beautiful view. I love that this place gets the afternoon sun. And then just behind here, I don't love this layout. It's kind of dicky. We have the ensuite. Again, sorry about the vent. And yes, I just showered. So that's what my shower looks like. This is like the ugliest, fakest plant and I'm working on getting a dried arrangement like the previous bathroom. Again, it's pretty much identical to the other bathroom and these mirrors are all cupboards which is super handy for storage that is going to wrap up this video if you guys did like it please give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed let me know in the comments if you would pay 4.6 million australian dollars for a three-bedroom penthouse in brisbane and i will see you next wednesday